Though earlier today, I've had an interesting conversation with an atheist. She had told me that she was previously a Christian, meaning at some point in her life, she believed in God. So I just had to ask her, what made you stop believing in God? She had told me that many problems and issues had developed in her life. She told me that if God was real, if God was really out there, why does he continue to allow all these problems and issues to continue to happen in my life? Why does he continue to watch me go through all these problems? Does he not care? Is he laughing? I told her, you think your life's hard? I was just downtown at the traffic light, on the red light. And this guy comes up to my car. His clothes are worn out. His eyes are red. He, come, he comes up to my car begging me for money. He's begging all the cars around downtown for money, for change, for people to help him out. You think your life's difficult? You think you got issues in your life? You think God isn't real? You think God doesn't care about you? You think God is on his throne laughing at you? Well, he's not. You have to have faith. You think your life's messed up? You want to cry all about it? Well, let me tell you, there are people out there homeless about homes. Hungry people all over the world in third world countries, in Africa. You think your life sucks? You want to cry all about it? And then if God's real, you have to believe. How far are you going to let your disbelief cloud your judgment? It doesn't make sense that you start disbelieving in God all of a sudden because he thrown a couple tests your way. Tests and tribulations. You see, God says in, in the verse, he says, do the people think that they say that we, we are believers, we believe, and that we are not going to test them. Meaning, if you claim that you have belief, you claim that you are a believer, he's going to test you. He's going to check that faith. He's going to check your amount of faith. You see, doctors, they can't just walk into a surgical room and perform heart surgery. They can't carry a human heart in their own bare hands without proper years of examination, years of tests. They had to be qualified to be a surgeon. The same thing goes for a believer. You have to be qualified to be a believer. You have to be qualified to have faith. You can't say, I believe. You have to be certain that you believe. You have to be 100% certain that you believe in God. God is out there, man. He's not laughing at your problems. He's waiting on you to put your hands up to the sky and say, Lord, Help me. He's out there, man. Your life doesn't suck. There's millions, millions of people out there in the world starving. They don't even have daily necessities as such as a toothbrush. You think your life sucks? Their toes are coming out of their shoes. They don't have shoes like you. They don't have Nikes, Air Maxes. They don't have that kind of luxury, Yeezys, NMDs, Ray-Bans. They don't have all these luxuries as me and you do. You think your life sucks? Check your faith. Have faith. Never stop believing. Never surrender to disbelief. I refuse to surrender to disbelief. You should too. Peace out, guys.